Welcome to the world of pyramids. You know, these ancient structures are not just piles of stones. They are a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. Evolution of pyramids and labor. So, the Greeks thought that the pyramids were built with slave labor. But, hold on to your hats folks, because that's not the case. Archaeologists now believe that they were built by tens of thousands of skilled workers. And guess what? These workers were not slaves. They were paid workers. Yes, you heard it right. They worked for a salary as a form of tax payment. Now, imagine being a worker in ancient Egypt. You wake up at the crack of dawn, pick up your tools, and head off to work on one of the most magnificent structures the world has ever seen. And the best part? You're not a slave. You're a skilled worker earning a living. How cool is that? But wait, there's more. The construction techniques of the pyramids evolved over time. So, the pyramids were not just built in a day, or a year, or even a decade. They are the result of years of evolution in construction techniques. So, the next time you look at a pyramid, remember the skilled workers who built it. Remember the evolution of construction techniques. And most importantly, remember that the pyramids are more than just structures. They are a symbol of human ingenuity and perseverance. Use of foreigners. Picture this, the Middle Kingdom Pyramid of Amenemhat II, a marvel of ancient architecture. But here's the kicker, it wasn't just the Egyptians who built it. No, there's evidence that foreigners from Canaan may have been used for its construction. Now, I know what you're thinking. Foreigners? In ancient Egypt? Yes, my friend, you heard it right. The Egyptians were outsourcing before it was cool. Talk about being ahead of the curve. But let's not get sidetracked. Back to the pyramid. So, these Canaanite folks were not just passing by, they were part of the construction crew. And not just any construction crew, we're talking about one of the most iconic structures in human history. So, next time you see a pyramid, remember this little nugget of information. It's not just a symbol of ancient Egypt, it's a symbol of international cooperation. A testament to the fact that great things can be achieved when we work together. Wooden Crane Theory Now, you might be thinking, well, Duh, all pyramids have levels. But here's where it gets interesting. You see, these blocks didn't just magically levitate from one level to the next. Oh no, they had a little help from our friend, the wooden crane. That's right, a wooden crane with a counterweight was used to hoist these massive blocks up. Now, I know what you're thinking. A wooden crane? Really? Yes, really. The Egyptians were not just master builders, they were also master engineers. They knew how to get the job done. Water and sand theory, we're talking about the ones that were built with a little help from water and sand. Yes, you heard it right, water and sand. Now, you might be thinking, water and sand? Really? Yes, really. Evidence suggests that the blocks were first levered onto wooden sleds and then hauled up ramps made of sand. But here's the kicker, wet sand reduces friction dramatically beneath the sled runners, making it possible for a team of people to move massive objects. So, the next time you're at the beach, building your sandcastle, just remember the ancient Egyptians. They were the original sandcastle builders, and they didn't just build castles, they built pyramids. And that, my friend, is the end of our journey today. Stay tuned for more fun facts about the world around us. And remember, the world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. So, the next time you're struggling to lift something heavy, just remember the wooden crane. If it can lift a pyramid block, it can certainly help you lift that heavy box. And who knows, maybe you'll be inspired to build your own wooden crane. Just remember to use a counterweight. Ramp systems. We're talking about the ones that were built with ramps. Yes, ramps. Most Egyptologists think that Egyptians used ramp systems to build the pyramids. Now, you might be thinking, ramps? Really? Yes, really. There are different theories about what types of ramps they used. Some experts have theorized they could have used straight ramps that went up the pyramid's outside walls, ramps that curved around these walls or ramping systems inside the pyramid itself. So, the next time you're sliding down a ramp, just remember the ancient Egyptians. They were the original ramp builders. And they didn't just build ramps, they built pyramids. And that, my friend, is the end of our journey today. Stay tuned for more fun facts about the world around us. And remember, the world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered.